Hello there, and today we're going to give you an honest review of Homeseek. Now, somebody compared this to surviving the aftermath, uh, you know, because it's, you know, you know after the, the civilization has ended and you have to go through wastelands and stuff like that, and you have to build your cities and stuff like that, uh, your, your towns and whatever. Else. But it's not like that at all, and so that led to, like, a huge disappointment uh, for me when I tried this out there. Uh, this is, like, you know, a story mode type of thing. Each part is basically, uh, you know, a different map, and you have to do these parts to unlock different maps, and they have you know they unlock more and more technologies and stuff like that as you do them and then of course there's an endless mode where you can just play that map that you unlocked and go through it and you know just have you know unlimited resources that you can actually get later on uh, with outposts and stuff like that but the outposts are really uh, basic and lame and all that kind of stuff I found but you know it's, it's still it's a passable game but overall for me, I think this game is kind of like a 4 out of 10. Uh, you know, for the many of the, of the reasons, because there's not really much going on. All you really do is you, know, you have your people, your citizens, and you, have, you, you assign them to different things, like the scrap piles. You have limited resources on scrap. They get that. You set the bill stuff. You, they got to collect water from water extractors. And then you got to connect them uh, via pipes like this. Uh, you know, you have to make connections. And then you can, you know, and then go over there and they bring it to the water source. And then you got to connect the water source uh, to your little your little wetlands and you got to do stuff like this you know got to connect uh, these things with different resources i don't know why they have this is all uses the same resources they're just a little bit more effective uh i just i don't know why they bother doing that but you lose some efficiency anyways and then you have people will have to work on here and then you got to connect this to another water different water storage because you can't have pure you know clean water and with the, you know bad water type of a deal and then you, they collect it in there and then you got to like maybe maybe turn this on or off for water storage so don't drink that and just drink this water basically uh that kind of thing you gotta see if you do stuff like this to micromanage your guys and see well maybe i need some guys to work there so i can take these guys off the scrap pile type of video so yeah this is what you're doing there you go you guys can work there instead and then while well, you know you do your basic this is this is just the first map so we're not going to get too much involved in the technology tree right here because it's just two things right it's just two things on each one of these uh the four tabs that you have here so there's not much a difference going on here because the map doesn't support some of the other things that you can get later on like this um, on the other maps there's like rivers and stuff like that which dry up super fast like faster than the water extractor there is weather events and stuff like that which stop you from gaining power once you get high enough technology to build your power resources and stuff like that but as you saw here in this tech you know the research place right here there isn't very much uh, room for improvement and stuff like that they have little tabs on the side you know and increased efficiency add more workers and stuff like that but basically what you do is you have this little expedition center and you send that out there. You get guys out there. And the only other real thing that you got to do is have a community center, which just learns laws. And the laws are basically just cards that say, hey, you can get, you know, be a little bit more efficient at stuff. And the map area is like, you know, you have little choices like this. When you once you get to the tab and you got to do like this. So this is, this is your map. You send them off to a tab. Once you explore this area here, these other ones nearby will unlock. And at the corners on endless mode, there's resources that you can sit there and build an outpost. And then you got to send guys to collect the resources that collect there over time eventually that that type of thing which is going on there but yeah you get the ability for choices right there and, you know it's, it's multiple choice basically you know choice a choice b or choice c type of thing and they're usually all bad choices and some of them take resources and you're supposed to send your guys out there with resources and they need like scrap for some reason too i don't know why they should just need food and water but you need scrap to build things like ladders and plant and you know and get rid of traps and stuff like that or just you know give it to people type of a thing as you're exploring and doing the different uh, things in this. There's all this stuff to do to unlock different technologies and upgrades and stuff like that because you just can't research them right off the bat. You know, they're all under like question marks. You got to go there and explore them all, which means you have to go through and get that, you know, exploration center up and running uh, right away. But this game isn't really played as you would normally play a game. It's just, you know, keep your guys happy and fed and watered and stuff like that. It doesn't work because uh, it's not it's not meant to be easy because your water resources you know they have a certain amount of water that's going to be in them and then in the story mode they you know it doesn't really rain very often you might get one rainfall and it won't restore your water enough for your guys to survive with the amount of people that you get so you have to be picky and choosy and you have to be the bad guy basically well at least I found I had to be the bad guy after trying to be the good guy three times in a row and it's just failing because these guys there's too many guys and there's not enough resources and they run out there and, and the expedition 
is just not fast enough to get everything unlocked and, and you have to go there on the map on the story mode and you have to fight you know you, you have to explore everything in the map to get to the last resource uh, area and that will just say hey you're done you go on to the next area and you just pack up and leave and you start a whole new map type of a deal and these guys have a different question like you know I need a hundred scrap to do this or I can do this and have them get hurt type of a deal so they can do that and go get ahead and get hurt uh, and that kind of stuff which is going on in this game it's not very eventful it's just managing your town and stuff like that and building it up so if you feel like if you enjoy the challenge of trying to you know uh, build up your town with limited resources and get to the point where you're self-sufficient or going through the story mode and trying to brute force your way through there and uh, get all that kind of stuff done there with your resources before the resources run out and all your guys leave you and die and that kind of stuff because these guys get depressed super fast if they don't have you know food and water or all they're drinking is contaminated water uh, they get all that stuff bad and, you know they really get upset real fast and they don't work you had to go to later maps to get different cards for your, your your community center, which, you know, the laws type of things that say, hey, if you're depressed, you can still work, which is really another really stupid thing I didn't like about this game is I had, you know, I had water available, I had food, I had berry bushes available to get food, and then, then I had like 29 people there, and they were all depressed, and none of them would work, and I had food and water sitting right there, and two, eventually they all just went there and just died. So they're all sitting in their houses, and they died, and it was 29 guys, you know, just, you know, happen to have the same amount of guys right now on this this mode uh, but uh, yeah uh, I thought that was funny he's like okay give me, give me a break <laughs> but basically to beat the game I had to, to beat those levels I basically had to send all my guys on expeditions with no with no resources at all until they died and then send more expeditions until they died with no resources just to kill off my people that I got so they don't eat all the food and water and like unlock all the stuff on the map to go to the next area <laughs> it's kind of a cruel way to do it uh, but that was basically how I had to play and I don't like playing that way and it's, I don't find that you know enjoyable uh, an enjoyable experience. I like keeping all, as, you know, all my guys alive and happy if I can. You know, and this type of game where you're trying to do that, but it doesn't really let you do that because of the limited amount of resources you have and the amount of people that you get and how ineffective uh, lots of these buildings are and stuff like that. And you know, how much stuff that these guys eat and drink. They just, you know, these guys are already consuming, you know, just 29 people with that much food. They're just, you know, wolfing it down. They don't work at night. You know, they're just choking down the water too and all that kind of stuff uh, but yeah well, that's what this game is like so um, if you like this type of thing it's good for you but uh, for me I'm I'm just I'm not really going to enjoy this very much that's why I'm going to give it the, the whole 4 out of 10 because it was passable but it's not uh, going to be enjoyable in the long term for me to actually go through the story mode and unlock the different uh, newer stuff on there you know you might you have some stuff to do um, and, it, and, it, and it works most of the time there's not much going on for crashes unless you start doing stuff like like, hey, I want to change what I'm doing and going to here and cancel these connections. Uh, the food connection one is what, what killed me. I was like destroying the food connection on one of the buildings. Just totally crashed my computer, which really sucks. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.